Today we are going to see the outline of second unit about research design. Let us see what is research design. A research design is a plan or a framework for conducting a research. It includes a set of plans and procedure to produce reliable and valid data. In simple terms, if you want to say it is nothing but a roadmap for the successful completion of any research work. Let us discuss about types of research design. Under types of research design, we have four types of research design that is experimental design, observational design, quasi experimental design and descriptive design. Sampling design. Sampling design defines as the researcher has to make a careful selection of a few elements from the population and then study them intensively to reach the conclusion because it should be applied safely to the population. Selection of sample is very important because the researcher will be able to determine the size of the sample and the method of sampling and the test of sample only if the sample design has been applied carefully. Types of sampling in design we have probability sampling and non-probability sampling where probability under uh, probability sampling equal importance given to the all individuals. It has been classified further into simple random sampling, stratified random sampling, systematic sampling, cluster random sampling and multi-stage random sampling. Whereas non-probability sampling, it has been uh, equal chance has been restricted. Probability sampling. As I said, probability sampling means that every member of the population has a chance of being selected. It is mainly used in quantitative research. If you want to produce a result that are representative of the whole population, probability sampling technique are the most valid choice. There are four main types of probability sampling as we discussed before. You can see it in the picture, simple random sample, systematic sample, stratified sample and cluster sample. non-probability sampling method in non-probability sample individuals are selected based on non-random criteria and not every individual has, has a chance of being included when compared to probability sampling this pro non-probability sampling is easier and cheaper to access but it has a higher risk of sampling bias that means the indifference you can make about the population are weaker than with probability samples and your conclusion may be more limited. If you see a non-probability sample, you should still aim to make it as a representative of the population as possible. You can see it in the picture. Non-probability sampling can be classified into convenient sampling, purposive sampling, non uh, non ball sampling and quota sampling thank you for watching this video